with Falcon hockey coach Joe Cranston. And Joe, last weekend the Falcons won their NCHA O'Brien Cup first round playoff series against St. Norbert, playing to a 2 2 tie on Friday, but then winning big 7 1 on Saturday. Could you talk about those two games a little bit? Well, we knew. Well, we had to get three points, and that's exactly what we did, and so that's that's the bottom line, and that's nice, but we knew it's, it was going to come down to tempo, and we needed to set the tempo because they didn't have the depth to hang with us, and they ran out of gas about halfway through that first game, and they managed to get a kind of a weird goal to tie it up, but we, we really shut them down in the first game, and I think we gave up nine shots, and then five, and then three is all we gave St. Norbert's that first day, so defensively we played pretty well. Uh, but we made a couple really bad mistakes in the middle of that game that cost us momentum and really cost us not getting the win. But a tie is basically the same as a win when you come to these mini game series. And so then we just uh, came out the next day and played better, got into a rhythm, got some pucks in the net early. Kate Mason scored two in the first, and Flanagan had a pure hat trick. And, and we were just burying pucks. We got into a much better rhythm than that second game and, and dominated. And it was uh, it was fun to get a 7-1 to one win in the playoffs. Joe, uh, last week the all-NCHA team was named. The Falcons came out with several people on that club. Um, on the first team, forward Kate Mason, forward Jessica Thompson, defenders Lauren Conrad and Kaylee Bell were all named to the first team. Katie Flanagan and Cassie Campbell earned honorable mention. And, of course, you're, uh, you winning the Coach of the Year Award, very well-deserved after going through the season undefeated. Could you talk a little bit about our recognition there? Uh, you know, first of all, with Conrad and Bell, I think those two have been the top D in our conference all year. Probably everybody knows it. And not just with points, but just being a huge presence on the ice. So, you know, I, I Cam, or Conrad, I, I nominated her for Player of the Year. I think she had that type of season. Um, but they're both just been phenomenal all year for us. But, you know, you could take any of our other defensemen right down the line, Bailey and Judy and Horgie and Bree, and you put any of those kids on a different team, they'd probably be an all-conference defenseman too. We're just that deep on D. And then Kate Mason and been just, I mean, she led every category, I think every stat, and just dominated our league and just is still getting better every day. Uh, Jessica Thompson did a great job this year too. Just uh, she's been on conference before, and then you know Katie Flanagan. Um, I think she's the second best forward in the conference next to Kate Mason. There's no way she's not one of the top six forwards, and she proved that the other night. So uh, nobody's worked harder than Katie Flanagan at, at being the hockey player she is off the ice, on the ice. She's just awesome. And then Cassie Campbell, another one, just didn't get as much playing time as some of the other goalies in the league that's because the same thing we just have a lot of depth there and we don't really care about that we just want her playing well and being healthy at the end of the year and um, so I think uh, she went up against the all-conference goalie on Saturday and she let in one and we scored seven so I just think that's a huge confidence builder for her but she's playing awesome right now and she's healthy perfect and Joe the coach of the year again congratulations for that your thoughts there uh, again, that's just a team award, you know, I get that because, or I shouldn't say I, we get that, my, me and my coaching staff, because we're undefeated, because we got a good hockey team and they're undefeated, they just, uh, that's a team award, but huge, uh, that goes to all three of my assistant coaches, and but a big, big plus for Jim Walsh, just being just a phenomenal recruiter. Um, you know, he's, it's a, River Falls is a pretty easy sell, and, and, uh, we have a great school and a great hockey program, but he's out there working every day, um, recruiting and bringing in top-notch players. And uh, so it's just my job to get them out on the ice and make sure they do their job. But um, so a lot of credit to a lot of different people for that award. Joe, looking ahead, the Falcons will now host the O'Brien Cup semifinals and finals this weekend at Hunterina. On Friday, the Falcons play Concordia at 3.05, and in the other semifinal game on Friday, Adrian faces Superior. The two semifinal winners will play at 2.05 on Saturday for a trip to the NCAA tournament. What are you looking for this weekend? Well, we'll play Concordia, and, and they've improved a ton this year. <clears throat> and they're a, they're a veteran team. I think they have 12 seniors, and, and they play like a veteran team. When we played them earlier in the year, they didn't have their starting goalie in there, so... They're going to be a lot better team, and, uh, and you know, just the veteran team coming in, they haven't, that, that, that group of seniors, when they were freshmen, didn't win a game, 
and here they are four years later in the O'Brien Cup. So I know they're going to come in here with a lot of pride, and they're not. They're going to be coming in here to win hockey games, so or two of them. So we really have to be on our game and set the pace and uh, score some goals and and then uh, get to that championship game. And then whether it's Adrian or Superior, no preference there. Just we just want to play our game and win two more games and get that bid for the NCAA tournament. Joe, good luck to you and the Falcons. We'll look forward to talking to you next week.